YouTube, what's going on? Horse Racing Gamer, we're back with Calibracer 2004! I feel like I gotta give you guys that type of intro at least once a week on a video, right? It's, uh, it's channel tradition. So, it's July 1st. Uh, big, big, big month ahead. Big months ahead, really. Start of the GWS for most of the series. We have six new wonderful two-year-olds that are, or five, excuse me, that are about to hit the track. All fillies, mind you, so a big class, which means long-term, better brood mares. Um, we have a lot of good things going on. It, it's still kind of like a current rebuild of like where we are at. And when I say rebuild, again, I don't mean we're starting over. It's just like trying to really figure out the best breeding pairs now that we have better horses. I feel like... Um, I feel like that that's extremely important right now with where we are, obviously, in this series. Trying to find the best possible breeding combinations that we can rely on long-term for better horses. And, of course, as we get better studs and broodmares that go to the barn, well, of course, we're going to you know still change those lines up. But we need to find a formula that consistently works because, let's be honest, some of our horses in here that you know we have thought would work – um, over the years sometimes they just didn't part of that could have been some obviously my play style the other part could have just been because the horse just didn't have the right stats in the right places and that's outside of our control right so that's just kind of been my approach just making sure we find the best parents that are compatible that gives us the reliable horses that we can win on a lot and be very successful with so joker's cards up in the tokyo derby second favorite i don't think he's a dirt horse but i wanted to try him out on the dirt again because remember he almost won the Belmont Stakes, I think at 12 furlongs on the dirt. He handled it like a champ. We lost it within, what, a length? And you see his stats now that they are all revealed. Um, I mean, my goodness, almost basically 100 breaking, which is fantastic. It does help. Uh, he's got speed to him. He's going to peak quickly here. That's besides the point because, again, our horses have peaked quickly in the last couple of years. And some of them, we've still ran two or three years beyond their peak, still winning grade ones. You see his abilities, last corner leader, stretch burst, and grit. He runs to the front, and um, yeah, I mean, this is from Diamond Plan and Chasing Hearts. This is a breeding pair because we have both of the horses available we could stick to if we can get horses like Joker's card consistently. Now, as far as the stats are concerned, that's still not ideally what I want, but it's the whole thinking is that once we find the breeding pair that gives us the right stats that we need in the right categories... That's the family we're going to want to stick to because we'll get different versatility, hopefully, between Colt, Philly, Turf, Dirt, Short, Long Distance, you know? Like, we have families in Gallup Racer 3 that we've been breeding uh, consistently now. We have that Sprinter family with Stormlark, Thunder Jam, right? We had the, the kind of endurance ish family. I would say strong mile to 10 furlong and maybe 12 furlong family of, like, Stardust King... Uh, that came, you know, from Wild Motion, Wild Vegas. We had that family, right? And then we eventually combined the two. We combined the Wild Motion, Wild Vegas family with the Thunder Jam, Thunder, uh, Storm Lark, excuse me, family, the Sprinters. We combined those two, and now we have Sweet Storm, who is our best girl in that game currently, undefeated, with, uh, you know, essentially Horse of the Year, I think, two or three years running. So that's, that's where I want to get to in this game, ultimately. And again, because I feel like we've had to constantly switch out the studs and the brood mares um, when we've had the chance, at least. In fact, we've really been stuck with the brood mares. We've now finally up upgraded them substantially more than what we had available. So I feel like now we have a pretty solid baseline for our current horses. Of course, Frugal Art going into there when she retires will be great. Cleopatra and Galaxy Star, they're still racing. We're going to put them back there. So the broodmares were fine. The studs, I think I'm still trying to find the right stud to use long term. And we've tried Vivid Legend. Uh, did we try Crimson Art at one point? I can't remember. I don't know if we had them in this game. But Vivid Legend, um, Western Tiger, Desert Diver, you know, as far as the studs that we used for a while that gave us our best horses, you know. Western Tiger, like I used him a lot and you guys see why I did. And as we come down the stretch here with Joker's card, we got to catch the 13 furlong and a half left to go. Almost over whipped, kept it close. As us and the 13 battling, does Joker's card have enough to get him half a furlong left to go? Joker's card, can he do it? It went on the dirt. He's going to get it done. This is what I mean. These are the type of horses that 
that work best for my play style. Joker's card ends up getting it done on the dirt. And watch, the game is still not going to tell us his dirt preference. I guarantee you they're still going to be playing hide-and-go-seek with it, which is freaking ridiculous. But what a way to kick off today. Joker's card winning a second, actually second grade one on the dirt. He has a great turf rating. I wonder what his dirt preference is. From Diamond playing out of Chasing Hearts. Um, who would he have gotten dirt from? Maybe Chasing Hearts somewhere? She came from Arctic Crop and Suave Buster. Um, what a win in the Tokyo Derby for Joker's card. I don't even have the energy to, to, to say anything about that. But, um, look, look, question mark, still not telling us. Tecmo, what the F? Why did, why did you ever think this was a brilliant idea to hide certain things from the player, even after they should have already unlocked it? I mean, how many times do I have to race him on the dirt before they tell me if he can be raced on the dirt? Which, in all honesty, I feel like he's... I mean, I really got to turn it up. I, I'm just probably just going to keep tossing him in races kind of left and right. But granted, if we're working towards a title, he's closer towards a dirt title. Is it too late to put this guy in the, in the GWS? I mean, well, he can run in the, the turf or the mile. Now, who else? I know with um, Shallow Light, or not Shallow Light, Solo Riders for the turf. He'll have the Diamond Cup here at the end of the month. Um, and then the Platinum. When is that race? So I feel like I feel like Solo Rider will be ready for this race. I really kind of want to get him that GWS turf. And then for the sprint, I said I would do Summer, a uh, September Sky, and maybe who's faster? Joker's car is definitely faster. So yeah, I'm gonna actually toss him in the other GWS sprint race. I I still want to know what he's like on dirt because I feel like we could actually use him on dirt. Um, and be quite successful. They're not telling me his rating, and again, I just I don't think he has it in his pedigree. I mean, is he just that decent of a horse? It just I'm not saying it's not possible, but I don't want to get you know ahead of myself and think that. I, I think Arctic Crop. No, I'm just I feel like I'm completely misremembering. Are either of those horses dirt horses? Arctic and Suave. Suave, no, right? And Arctic, um, and Arctic is turf. Again, I'm just wondering who he would have gotten that from. I liked Pink Amber, but why did I decide not to like look at her sustained growth type? But is this really the best she is at a double S? 83 heart, okay. 74 speed, that's... I mean, you, you're going to get smoked by other double S horses eventually with that speed. Uh, stamina 63, power only 52. I like her abilities, but just like... I just feel like, again... I only look in here just to see if there's a gem of a broodmare that has, you know, really good stamina and power that I don't know about, or a filly, I should say. Because, let's be honest, we all haven't raced with every single horse in this game. I think there's bound to be a couple every blue moon that maybe you just don't pay attention to. My master. I, I Before I even looked at her growth type, I'm just like, okay, 93 speed. She's going to peak fast. They always do. Fast pace, not good. What? So a speedster that doesn't like a fast pace, but can run the heels off of these horses, run, run, run the shoes off of them, if that's more appropriate. And, huh, seven to nine, dirt horse. It's a really, really, really fast dirt horse that doesn't like a fast pace and is a proceeder. You're interesting. Do you fit the plan? Yes and no. Your stamina and your speed are not great as far as the plan is concerned. They're not bad. Um, your speed without a question and the fact that you're a dirt horse, so you're a really, really fast dirt filly. 
do we have any Colts like that? Like a really, really fast... Well, no, not, not on the dirt, we don't. Hmm. She's interesting. I, I, I don't know why I'm, I'm intrigued. Wayne the page. You're fast, but I mean, you're not. Growth type is fast. I. <sighs> hmm. To be honest with you, I, I don't know what I'm doing. I, I'm I'm just I'm trying to just get out of get out of my bubble, you know. I am. If it fits for the plan, I think it's worth looking into. I mean, who's the fastest filly that we have with that type of speed, realistically? Out of the girls in the back. This I think one of them has double F. I think I think I don't even know. Does any of them have double F speed? S for you. S. S. Oh, Free Fear does have a double S. A double S. Excuse me. Okay. And the great thing about Free Fear is she can run on turf or dirt. So really, I need to. Her power rating's bad, but I really need to tap into probably using her. We can get horses that can run on both surfaces, and we'll just run them where they see fit. Um, same thing with Black Ruby. Like I, that's the reason I picked them two up. Both S S ranked fillies, but that flexibility of being able to run on turf or dirt, I think, is good. And they both have that. Um, yeah, because we don't have one legitimate dirt filly back here. Sedate Dancer would technically be the next one, and I don't know if she's going to be worth it. It's just it's hard to. I mean, forty eight stamina. That that's that's. Obviously, below the line, I want to go. So, I don't think that's the answer. Um, can I believe they're still hiding his dirt rating? I, ugh, so stupid. Like, City Dancer. She would technically be our next best dirt filly. She's not a bad horse. I just... The stamina. I told you, you guys can't see it. I, I skipped ahead. It's 48. Why? It's, it's E, F, whatever. Like, you know what I mean? I just... I don't want to do that. Unless she turns out to be so much better than I think, and somehow she overcomes the stamina obstacle, then okay. But her and Jaden, this dude, they have this... I don't know where they got it from. Neither, neither of their parents, anybody in the... Just then them getting those numbers, it just... Yeah, it makes no sense, really. Um, you're good. Who do I need to put... Oh, yeah. Uh, Joker. No, you're good. We only did the one race. Okay, well, I did more. But, you, you know, like, it just... Again, I wasn't expecting any of my horses to get 48 stamina, like, at all. I double-checked everything. Technically, if the game worked like how it was supposed to, they should have at least been low 60s at the lowest. But 47, 48? Like, no, that that's like RNG gone, like, the wrong way. And we've seen it happen, even when we've done our live streams with Gout Racer 3, right? And we've had to redo the breeding several times. We saw some horses with stats where we're like, this has nothing to do with the parents at all. You know, there is some RNG involved in it. I, there, there, there is no 100% successful way to get the perfect horse in this game unless you're using exploits or something. There's still a little bit of RNG. They put that into the coding quite clearly. You know what I mean? So it's like 48 stam. I just, ugh. Not really feeling that, man. So this filly that we just acquired, my master... If she ends up being really fast and on the dirt for us, we could retire her as a legitimate fast dirt filly and try to build a line through there. You know what I mean? A, a real dirt line. Because I guess the ones I've tried building haven't really worked out, so maybe we can start with her, but we'll see. We're moving on to our wonderful girl here, September Sky. Fifth favorite in the summer sprint. Now, she's not that fast. She's only at 79, about to hit 80, but she's still growing, which is the good thing. She'll probably hit her peak later next year. So she'll probably have mid-80 speed, maybe a little bit above that. Now, at that point, she could be fast enough to, to, to compete, essentially, against the other fast horses out here. Her power rating has to improve. But she's got the staying, and we've seen that. She's able to maintain her speed for a long time, which is helping her in the stretch. Beautiful girl. She breaks really well with a really great response. So we can set the pace out in front. Second win, if I get her going right, she'll tap into that. I, it's going to be tough, but I think if I put her in the right place here, we can win this race for sure. But, you know, I have to do everything I need to do to get her in that right spot. 
So we'll see. We'll see. Uh, yeah. Only time will tell, though, right? Okay, here we go. Summer sprint here. Her first test in the GWS as a three-year-old filly. September Sky, she's off. Now, she's got to go to the front here. Nobody is allowed to contest for the pace. No one. Slow down, my girl. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Good job. Thank goodness for that response rating, man. I think I mentioned it in the last episode when I was racing with her. It helps out a lot because she's so quick to respond to not going too fast or too slow. I don't have to fight with her. You know? Hopefully I got her going at the right time. I don't know. Let's see. Keep fighting, my girl. Keep fighting. Keep fighting. Uh, his horses are blowing past her. I may have waited a little bit too long. Furlong left to go. She still got stamina there, but feels like I waited too long. So she just finished his fifth. Ah, that's rough. I think that's on me. And then she comes back to yeah. I I think that could have been a lot better. Like I'm sure they'll give me a bad rating on the spurt. I think I held her a little bit too long, and she had more stamina than I thought she would. B yeah. She had more stamina than I thought she would. I was kind of worried that if I, you know, got her going too soon, she may have tired out since she only has a 56 power rating. But, um, yeah, she actually held on a lot better than I thought there. So next time I race her in a race like that, I'll try to push her a little bit sooner and see if she can hold off. Um, so, yeah, uh, you know, that's on me. Burning Wind, he's up. We're trying him still out in the, uh, the Dirt Championship here for the GWS. He's like seventh so we got a win today or at least finish second to put ourselves in at least decent contention um favorite is empty mind we're surely not as fast as these other dirt horses i mean his speed he's he's dropping he's declining so realistically if we don't finish third or better here i'll drop him out of the dirt and uh, we'll move him on to other endeavors like well he's close to actually getting a dirt title so one or two more wins, he'll be there. Awesome. Ooh. Sketchy just showed me a, um, well, actually, he posted it in the screenshots, or just sent me one. Of how, uh, this new video detailing, it's going to feature Skip Away. And then whoever else, I think maybe two other horses, or maybe just one, he decides to do a comparison with. So I'm really excited for that video. Skip away. Favorite horse of all time. I think one of the most underrated grade one horses in the last two decades. Like, I, I feel like so many other horses get m more love than Skip away gets. And he won a lot of grade ones in his time. I mean, the average horse nowadays wins, what, a couple? And then they're retired at the end of their three-year-old season. And we know the reason for that, but... Skip Away was a horse that was able to win several years in his racing career. You know, we don't get a lot of horses like that anymore because owners are just retiring them as soon as they can for breeding, and that's a business decision. Again, we get that. So for his time, Skip Away was a really, really underrated horse, man. And I think, yeah, if you don't really know about him, look into him. Beautiful, beautiful gray. We haven't had a lot of those over the years either. Not at least here in North America. We've had some, but, you know, it's been a while. So, yeah. Just thought I would share that. Feeling good with Burning Wind here, though. I keep forgetting we do have him for the dirt line. Now, we're not going to have, like, raw speed with him or anything. But he's doing well enough, I think, to earn himself a spot as a sire once we get to that point. Okay. And we'll go now. Okay, he's going to run with these horses on the turn. Now, will he have anything? Still give us last corner leader. Wow, that's crucial. Or are you supposed to finish third? Okay. Eight looks like... Is that empty mine? Empty mine's probably smoked us, unless there's a second answer here. Hang on there, bud. Keep driving, keep driving. Empty mine got us. It's going to be second place. 
I what I say, top three, we keep them in the championship. I mean, all we need to do is have what happened last year. The if the horse is beating us in the series, they don't show up to every race. Maybe we get fortunate with one race that they're not in. We we get some points that way. Now clearly empty mind is gonna be hard to to beat. And I think even if I got him started a lot earlier there, I don't know if he would have had the speed to hold off empty mind, so it's fine. But um yeah, man. Like the guy's still going strong, and he's he's on the decline. So we look at the sprint here. September Sky. She finds herself in ninth place. So she's got a lot of catching up to do. East of Pool. The thing is with September, she's still developing. So if she doesn't really do well this year, it's not a big deal because I think next year she'll be stronger, and then we'll be able to probably put her in the sprint or the turf. She might be better suited for the turf. But Solo Rider, I think, has got to take that this year, and then we'll go onwards to other things with him. Um, especially since he'll be peak. I mean, he's going to peak a lot sooner than September Sky is. So we got to get him a, t- a title now. And Burning Wind moves himself to look at that fourth place behind Vast Delight, Local Moon, and Empty Mind. We're within three points of those horses. So we're, there's still a chance for the dirt. I think it's still going to be an uphill climb because those horses are faster, clearly. But if I can just find a way to just try to extract the, the most amount of points I can for Burning Wind in the right races, I think we have a chance. Maybe. Maybe. It's a big maybe because, again, those horses are much faster than us. So we're kind of relying on a lot of things to go our way on top of me doing the best I can. And I don't think the next dirt challenge... Okay, we got the first stakes in September. So get you ready for that burning because um, you're the only one right now <laughs> that can uh, really give that dirt a, a serious challenge. And then September Sky. <sighs> you're still developing. I just... Six furlongs. I You know... Part of me wonders if she would just be better off doing other things right now. Again, I, I held her intentionally in that race because I wanted to see... I, I was worried that she was going to tire out. I see that that's not going to happen. So I kind of want to give her another shot. But she'll still be in the green if I wait all the way till September. I didn't realize that. So, you know. Who else am I going to put in that? Joker's card, I guess? Yeah, Joker's card, maybe. Yeah, he might be better suited for that, in all honesty. So maybe I should kind of skip out on the GWS for her this year and wait till her four-year-old season. I don't think she's ready quite yet. Not for the sprint, maybe for the turf. She's got to be a little bit faster to make the sprint work. Um, so instead of putting her in that Paris Mile Cup, what I'm going to do... Because wait, what's her max distance? I hate this, the question mark. Just The things they don't tell you in this game with your horses sometimes is infuriating. Like, what are you hiding it for? Like, it's so stupid, man. I'm just trying to see if she can work as a sprinter. Right, we're going to run her one more time. And if I can't figure it out, I will literally keep her away from the sprints and I'll just focus on miles and up. I think that's important to know. Sometimes I dabble in that with my horses, you guys see. Because sometimes regardless of what their distance preference says they can run six furlongs we've gotten horses sprint titles that weren't sprinters in that regards right so i like to try it out with everybody that has a decent speed figure just to know for sure if i can run them six i'll run them six or seven if that's really too short then i'll know i just have to keep them at you know a mile and up but gosh it just it's so stupid there's no defending that mechanic in the game it's just like they didn't really think about it clearly they didn't think about at least improving it to such a point where it wouldn't be just so like it's just random sometimes like you could be on a winning streak with the horse several grade ones perfect eval rider you know you know race grades whatever at the end of the race you could get double s's for everything have a horse be undefeated and the game is still like yeah we don't know if they really like dirt yeah, we still don't know what their stamina rate like are you kidding me <laughs> like what the f- it doesn't even make sense it's, it's the most it's one of the most stupid things about this game and i'm being funny of course but i'm just like why did like why is it not coded properly to eventually be like okay the stat is this like keeping it hidden is ridiculous there, there's there's no logical act you know explanation or answer clearly shallow light she's up into grade three i don't know about her but you can see her chart she's still got a long way to go which is fine um her power rating should hit the 70s. She's from General Reason out of Irish Fleet. She should be relatively fast. 
with decent power, and she shouldn't have bad stamina. So again, speed and stamina are the only two things I'm waiting to see, and hopefully they're in the 60s now. They're in the 60s now, that's a good sign. If they're high 50s, she'll be mid-range, mid-70, low-80, which, you know, I guess I can't really expect much more from general reason in Irish fleet. Um, But her speed shouldn't be bad. She should be at least an 80 speed type of filly. So I just got to make sure I keep hitting my goals with her because I do want to see what she'll turn into. She had the lowest potential of uh, the three-year-olds that we're racing with now uh, from the pasture. So I'm curious if she'll actually be better than that. You know, sometimes we get those horses. We don't think they'll be anything, and then they turn out to work better than some of our, you know, star-statted type of horses. Uh, she doesn't really like that we're running this pace. I'm surprised. The thing is, with her being a front runner, and I understand why. General Reason and Irish Fleet both. I'm hoping that she turns into a really strong front runner and is able to just keep horses off of her back for a while. I don't know if her stats will get her to that point, but having 62 power already tells me she'll be strong enough to handle at least courses overseas too, which is really good. I was kind of worried with her initial stats. I'm like, ah, is she even going to be strong enough to go international? I think as soon as her power hits 70, she'll be ready to go international. I don't know if she'll be winning. That's not really the point yet, not until she hits her peak. But, again, I think she'll be in a good position to be competitive. I just got to make sure I, I, you know, keep her around till then. But, you know, she doesn't really fight with me. She's pretty easy to get along with, and I, I really have no gripes with how she runs. So we'll kind of send her now. There were a couple of tiles. We just have to beat one horse. So as long as she's able to hold on to the end. And keep in mind, she's able to keep the lead now without the stats being where they need to be and without her being at her peak. So to me, this is a great performance from Shallow Light. Horse that may even still finish in the top uh, oh, the fourth or fifth. Yeah, just gave her fifth. She was supposed to finish second to last, people. So I like her. I like the way you know, things feel with her. I just think her stats need to come in. I, I think I could actually do well once she gets to her peak. I really do. Double S on the spurt. Hopefully they reveal some more things about her, but they probably won't. Stamina, ah, no, we, no, no, we don't know how tired she gets yet. Nope. Up speed, nope. We don't know how, how fast she is yet. Nope. <laughs> it's just, oh, it's such a goofy game mechanic that, again, I wish in modern times it, it would have been patched. I just saw a gray. Who's here? Naked Angel, yeah. Oh, the beautiful Naked Angel. You are a beautiful thing. Your stats are kind of booty, but, you know, it's besides the point. <clears throat> You're a beautiful gray. That's all that matters. And really, it's, I mean, gosh, 29 power, 28 feel. Everything else is actually not bad. Realistically, 50s and 60s. Normal growth type. Yeah. Realistically, with just faster speed, you could win probably a lot. And I'm going to be honest, that power rating is awful, so that would always make me stay away from the horse. But this is a filly I would want to work with with just a better power rating, you know? So that's kind of a bummer. Um, yeah, today, Dancer, third favorite. I, I don't know about this girl. Not a bad horse, but again, I know her stamina is really bad, and the game's keeping that a secret. So, um, yeah, I just don't know what we're going to be able to do. Because, again, like, <laughs> 47 Stam at this point in the game, like, <laughs> that's not going to help us achieve the milestones we want to achieve, right? <laughs> it's just, that's not going to happen. And then for breeding, like, you know, why will we ever do that? Now, that also wouldn't help the future. So, uh, I think she's mid or something for her light type. I definitely think she benefits more by running a little bit further sometimes the procedure thing seems to work out in a race and then i do another one and then we just we completely fall out so like i don't know i i, I think i should just keep her just at the mid pack because again 47 stamina it's going to be a problem so i i would rather save her energy and just hope that she has a adequate amount of speed just an adequate amount because i don't think she's fast at all i, th I think that's hurting her Almost as bad as the stamina, really. If she was a lot faster, then she can make up for that stamina loss. I would just have to be a little bit more better with the timing. Now, the bar itself doesn't look too bad right now where it's at. But, you know, 
See how she holds on in the stretch? And I remember, I gotta actually get her going on this turn because it's a long way to go. She's handling it nicely. She actually handled it pretty nice there. She navigated that really nicely. And I don't know if we're gonna be able to roll on to a win here. We're the third favorite. I feel like we're going to get caught, and this is what I mean. She has a really explosive bout, and a horse is going to get stuck behind us. Not going to allow us to win. The 11 is going to blow by. The 3 is going to get by. She's still going to finish third. She's really good for about, uh, what, a furlong? And then she starts to tap out. Furlong and a half, it starts to look dangerous. That's what I mean. Positioning, I, I don't know where she wants to run, bro. So, yeah, I'm going to get a bad grade on that. Spurt, not ideal. Not ideal. Like, she would have benefited to be ahead of those horses, but I think running her faster at the front is what tires her out even more so. So it's just like, I just feel like I'm in a weird spot with her. I don't really know if there's much else I could do differently. You know, because not having that issue on other horses, it's just, and they're still not telling me her stamina. <sighs> so ridiculous. Or her leg type. So, it, it, you know what I mean? Like, this doesn't help either. Just playing the guessing game. But I'm going to run her in an open. See if that gets some momentum going. If any. Shallow light. 9 to 14 front. We know that. Still don't know her dirt rating. 51 stamina. They finally revealed that. So that's lower than I expected. But it means by the time she's at her peak, it'll be in the mid-60s. Which again, I've been saying it for the last couple of episodes. is all I need for a horse to be winnable on. If it's lower than that, I feel like I'm going to struggle. As long as it's a mid-60s type of stamina horse, we've won several grade ones and titles with horses like that, I can handle it. Still don't know what her third ability is, and her speed, I don't know either. So, still figuring those things out about Shallow Light. But again, she's fun to ride with, and um, Strong Heart we haven't tapped into yet. Or have we? Maybe we have once. Her heart rating is only 40, so I can't. that's not going to get much better than 60, if that, you know? So uh, that's a little bit interesting. Good thing is for breeding, if we wanted to use her, though, passing down that ability with second win would be kind of nice. Just have to breed her with a stud that has a really strong heart rating, and we have plenty of those. I'm just thinking out loud here because we have a lot that we can still kind of... Be thinking about for the future, collectively, since you guys are going to be helping with breeding. I want to make sure that everybody that's watching, that's contributing and involved, is kind of keeping an eye on things, right? Thinking about what could really work to help us achieve our goals. Okay, I think everybody's set up. So, uh, two-year-olds debuting, finally? All right, I didn't skip any races, did I? Yes, Vivid Eyes and Soy Conquistador, both finally debuting here today. Soy Conquistador from Diamond Planet of Chasing Hearts. She is the younger sister, I believe, to Joker's card. And she is. So Diamond Planet Chasing Hearts, again, that's a breeding pair that if this filly turns out to work, um, it could actually do great stuff for us. So it can keep the door. And then Vivid Eyes, she's from Vivid Legend out of Moon Trapper. I get to see if there's something to the Moon Trapper young ones. Like we're using a different sire, you know, uh, Solo Rider, who's undefeated still. He comes from Diamond Plan out of Moon Trapper. And then his half brother, or excuse me, his half sister, Vivid Eyes, she comes from Vivid Legend out of Moon Trapper. So we'll see if whether the sires make a difference or if it still seems to somehow be maybe that Moon Trapper is actually giving us better, you know, horses than we realize. I'm going to take a break here. I'm actually doing laundry, so I'm going to get that taken care of. And then we will be back with this episode. All right. We are back. Got laundry done and. Eight. Good stuff. I think we're all good to go. I gotta admit, though, one thing I'm nervous about, and, and I really shouldn't be, but... I'm wondering, I was thinking about, well, Cleopatra and Galaxy Star. They're still well enough to be racing for a while. As good as they are, and let, and let me see. Where, where are we sitting at? So Cleopatra, she's 14 wins and 22 starts with 11 grade ones. Galaxy Star, 15 wins, 12 grade ones. So they're about 8 off of where Butterfly Effect, I think, hit. 
I think. Let me double check. Did she actually win that much? Maybe she didn't win that. Somebody tells me I'm like over exaggerating that number. She didn't actually win 20, but I thought she did, but I can't remember. Hall of Fame. Jason Hart's only won five great ones. Moon B actually won 10. Wow. I said eight earlier, I think, but Moon B actually won 10. Okay, Butterfly Effect only won 17. Gemstone actually got eight. Toxic got seven. Okay. So, Myth, uh, excuse me, Cleopatra and Galaxy Star, they're only six or seven. Or actually, six or five, really. Wins off of um, Butterfly Effect in regards to G1s. Total wins are a little bit more behind. Butterfly Effect won 25 of her 35 races. Um, it's so weird to think that I felt like... I mean, that Western Tiger, yes, we were undefeated. Went 10, and 10 of 10, 9 grade ones. And look at these stats. This is what I mean. Like, breeding this type of dude... With that power rating, with our brood mares now, man, our super horses would be here, you know, that quick. You get the flexibility of the leg type, the range, like. It didn't feel like I won more races with Desert Diver, but of course I raced them more, and I guess that would make sense. Yeah, so, um. Yeah, I guess with Galaxy and Cleopatra, I mean. Yeah. Galaxy Star is actually only five wins off of Butterfly Effect. Five grade one wins off. Cleopatra is still six. It's doable. I mean, they're both on the decline at the exact same rate. They literally peaked at the same time or they're on the decline at the same time. They really just kind of went through everything together. Um, but yeah, man, like... I mean, I think I should still be realistic. See if I can continue to win grade ones with them. If I feel like it's starting to get a little bit difficult, then I should probably just retire them. You know? And not push my luck. This game has taken horses away from me before. I still think about it in the back of my mind. Like, I don't want to have to save every week just to prevent that from happening. Like, that's ridiculous. Like I said, sometimes it's just... You know, if it's a circumstance outside of my control. You know, and again, you can achieve so much success on a horse, but you can do bad one time, or you can maybe just not hit the specific goal. Sometimes it still lingers in the back of my head. Because anything can happen. I'm not perfect, so, you know, I'm, I'm being mindful of that. Vivid Eyes, one of our two-year-old fillies from Moon Trapper. And Vivid Legend, another Moon Trapper filly is here. Another Moon Trapper fall, I should say. She's the first filly to actually hit the track for Moon Trapper. Her older brother is, or actually her half brother, is Solo Rider. So I'm hoping she's decent. She's expected to finish fourth on debut. That's that's solid enough. It tells you certainly if you run the race right, you could actually get a W with her. So um, let's see if we can get that done right. see if we can get that done so a good start i'm gonna assume she's a proceeder in fact i'm gonna assume all these fillies are proceeders until the game tells me that they're not because based off of their parents most of their parents are proceeders or mid at best and usually when that's the, the case the horse just seems to come out as a proceeder with a mid preference as well but proceeders like the main leg type so i'm just gonna assume that she gets a seven so got her in the right field probably the right position that's what I'm saying. I, I think this is ideally where she wants to be. Two sevens. It's good. Okay, get her ready to rock and roll here. No Rebo. I think it'll be fine. Let's see how she runs here in the stretch, though. Can she catch up to this 8, or is the 8 pulling away? No, the 8 is pulling away. So is the 11. Revolution there would have been nice. She gets stretch burst, so that's nice. And she's actually going to hold on to third. That's fine. Third place on debut. Hopefully we get to see some more about her. And, um... And, yeah, certainly... I actually thought I was going to get a revolution there. Did not happen. I missed the timing. 
But, um, yeah, no issues with her, really. Um, I think I'm going to have to get her going a little bit sooner because she did seem to kind of just be a step behind when trying to catch the other horses. So she's probably a horse that will benefit from hitting. She might have last corner leader as an ability. I don't know. But I'm assuming she'll benefit from obviously getting ahead of her competition first. Switching gears to our other two-year-old filly, Soy Conquistador. She is from Diamond Plan out of Chasing Hearts. She is the younger sister to Joker's card. So, same family, same parents for them. And, um, yeah, she should be pretty strong. Joker's card is amazing so far, and I would expect nothing less from his younger sister. This could be a good family we're starting with Diamond Plan and Chasing Hearts. Joker's card has been a success so far. If Soy Conquistador, his younger sister, follows in the same steps, then that's two successful foals right off the bat that we know work with Diamond Plan and Chasing Hearts. That could be a breeding pair we maybe rely on for a bit of time. I still think statistically we could do better, but I think if it gives us these type of quality horses, then we know we could stick to doing them every year. But again, I'm still in the period of trying out a lot of different parents because we've retired a lot of horses in the last couple of years. So we have to kind of go through a, diff a couple of years of breeding different combinations to see who ultimately gives us the best horse. You know? No Rebo, but it should be enough to get Soy Conquistador rolling. She's got plenty of stamina. And unless she starts to tap out soon, I think she's blown this field apart. And this is what I mean. We saw what Joker's card can do. He can win on turf and dirt. And we're seeing his sister, Soy Conquistador, as a two-year-old, can completely blow her competition out of the water by basically half a dozen lengths. And they both come from Diamond Plan out of, again, Chasing Hearts. They are brother and sister. So <laughs> that's a great first time win there for Soy Conquistador. And it just goes to show you, Diamond Plan and Chasing Hearts, she wins by seven lengths on debut. Breaks her maiden. But Diamond Planet Chasing Hearts. That could be a family that we rely on for those type of horses. I don't know. Solo Rider. He's up in the Diamond Cup. It's time to extend his lead in the GWS turf. It's Eager Saints here. Arden Ruby's the second favorite. I'm not worried about Arden Ruby. I'm worried about the 11 horse Eager Saint there. And I think for good reason. I think Eager Saint is clearly the second best horse in this field. So I think this is our race to win. For sure. And I just need to keep my eyes on Eager Saint. That's really it. The horses are on the track. Here we go. Good start. Yeah. Our boy already breaks out like a champion, but now I gotta hold him back because he can't be in the lead. We just need one horse to get ahead of us. Just one. Doesn't matter who. Just one. Come on now. Somebody somebody trying to take control here. Okay, there we go. And I'm actually going to keep him right here on the inside. I don't want to be running this hard, but I want to keep this 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 lane open for sure if I can. So unless that five horses go on, I was going to say unless the five horses is actually going to finally overtake any. Who is that? True Carol. Yep. Not worried about you. Eager Saint. Where are you at? Okay, somewhere back there. Solo Rider, trying to go eight for eight and to remain undefeated. Extend his lead in the GWS turf. Three-year-old Colt here from Diamond Plan out of Moon Trapper. And I'm having such a good time with this dude. It's weird, like, looking at him initially, as far as his stats are concerned, I wouldn't think he'd be my ideal horse, but then when I really think about it, I'm like, currently where we are in game, he is a pretty ideal horse that I want as far as where we are with our breeding. Undefeated. 
And because he just he works well in in just um, all the different races we've ran him in so far. He's easy to work with. Like, I don't have to adjust this dude the whole race. The second I get him in the rhythm, he knows what he needs to do, and then he's good. Now, you're saying got the jump on us. That's fine. That's fine. I think I can drive a little bit harder. Oh, come on, Solo. You got this, brother. Come on. For a long and a half left to go. Solo Rider and Eager Saint. Eager Saint still got us. Solo, we're going to get him, buddy. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Oh, Eager Saint's not letting up. Oh, I don't think they're going to give that to us. Wow. Absolute duel with us and Eager Saint, and they're going to give it to Eager Saint. Yep. <sighs> wow. <laughs> to lose the undefeated streak like that. Oh, man. That kind of stinks. I've beaten... I've done this race before, and I've beaten Eager Saint. With that horse, and um, I just... We're still leading, which is good, but gosh, that's a really annoying way to uh, lose end the losing streak. Or end, end the winning streak, I should say. Um, Darn, man, because, like... Uh, I've simulated that race with him before. I wanted to see if he could get it done. We win it. I win it in free mode. So it's just like, uh, when it counts, when it counts, drop the ball. And to be honest, I held him too long. I Before I know it, it it's 2.9 furlongs remaining. And then I realize, oh, I, he, I wanted to get him going sooner. He's got the stamina to, to do that. And um, I complete, again, just, I don't... I just doze off in the later stage of the race. It's really not a good habit. Got to stop doing that because it's like ruining races for us. I'll put him in the Paris Cup next. He'll miss the next GWS turf race, so we'll probably have some catching up to do. Shallow light. Got to get her going. Nine furlongs. It's fine. Ah! I just waited too long. I don't know why. I, I can't even tell you why I would wait that long. Because e Eager Saint wins the race because that horse just got the jump on us at the perfect time. And, like, I knew I had to get the jump on that horse, and I just failed to do it. I just failed to do it, man. So I'm disappointed in myself for that, as you can imagine, because that's a really... I mean, an Eager Saint's a good horse, but Solo Rider is better. He is. I'm telling you, we... It's fine. We'll, we'll win the. We'll we'll beat that horse. We will. In fact, we're gonna see him again. It's fine. We'll beat him again more than once, probably, and that will that will uh, justify everything. Will it? I don't know. I think it'll just prove like yes. Like I, I Solo Rider is better than Eager Saint. I just couldn't quite catch up. You know, eighty three speed. He's fast, but not ninety speed fast. Ninety speed fast gets you past that horse. We've we've done that. We've had those races. We've won those races. On horses that could do that, so... And that's no shot at Solo Rider, because he's... Amazing, amazing horse. You know? But Eager Saint is fast, you know? You just... You gotta... You gotta get the jump on him. That's the main thing. And I failed to do that. I failed to get the proper jump on him. And, um... Obviously, the result of that is, uh... Not quite getting there in time. You know, Solo Rider 77 Stam... Guy's got plenty. I could have gotten him going at 3.2 furlongs, and he still would have been okay. I don't know why I held him. Mythical. Newest two-year-old filly. Another one. She's up. She's expected to finish fifth in the six furlong sprint. She is from Moonbee out of Lee's Gold. Yeah, from Moonbee out of Lee's Gold. She should be fast. I mean, fifth, I think, is a little bit low even for her standards. According to the game, I think they're lowballing her, so we'll see. We shall see. Here we go. Good start. And uh, again, I'm running everybody as a proceeder until the game tells me that they're not. So we're running as a proceeder, and we'll keep her kind of settled right here. But, um, ma'am. Ah. Uh, 
This is amazing. The, the type of things I can mess up that are so easy. So, so easy. And sometimes it's just like not paying attention, not thinking, all the above, whatever. Just not quite zoned in. Sometimes I drift. And I just drift at the worst times. It's really not a good habit. Trying to work on that. It's a slow process. Okay. Mythical said we're running a little bit fast, but my girl, the race is already over. Now, will she have enough to hold on to this lead here? The field is coming. She's got plenty of stamina left. Keep fighting. Close race, okay. Keep digging in. Keep fighting. Keep fighting. Mythical just going to get it done. Wow. She had plenty of stamina, too, man. Plenty of stamina. She gets her first win. That, that's awesome. Like I said, I think she'll be fine. I think the game is highly underselling her value. She was ranked as essentially as the worst two-year-old of this group for both years. And even the initial purchase fee for her was like, what, 61 or something? Really low? I think this is a much better racehorse than the game is giving me credit for. But as usual, as usually done in this game, it seems, they just like to kind of, you know, mess with me. Oh, this horse is going to be awful. No, I, I, I think she's going to be all right. I think you don't understand the value of this horse because of the pedigree that we've worked with. We're switching gears. Another of our two-year-old fillies making her debut. Miss Vaporwave here. Now, she comes from Moonbee out of Balls and Autumn. She should be a little bit dangerous, a little bit chaotic. I'm hoping so. Moonbee and Balls and Autumn, I'm assuming she's going to want to run towards the front as a proceeder or as a front runner. Again, sticking to her as proceeder. She should be pretty good, man. She should be pretty good. She's ready to go. Okay, perfect start. And we're off. And she gets out like a rocket. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to kind of keep her out here. I hope somebody overtakes us, but... I don't think I have any reason to run her any slower. She gets out this well. I think she'll be strong enough to handle it. Moonbee and Awesome both had decent stem. I think they at least both had B. I don't think she's a front runner, though. That'd be pretty audacious. I think she's probably a proceeder, you know, but. She wants to go a little bit faster. Okay. Stamina's already dropping. Oh boy. Not the Awesome Autumn temper, please. She gonna have enough stamina to hang on? This looks like we're gonna go backwards. Oh, it's done. It's completely done. Botched debut here for Miss Vaporwave. Wow. And that's probably on me. Wow. She just completely fell out and gave up. I mean, we were running her. Well, she thought we were running too slow. I tried to speed up, and then she was already running out of... So she's not a front runner. Probably should have ran her as a proceeder. I just felt like she got such a good start, I should have kept her there. But, yeah, that wasn't good. <sighs> I gotta be honest, I won't be surprised if the game takes her away from us um, after that. So they dance her top three in this open on the dirt. Let's see what she can do. Wow. Yeah, I really won't be surprised if the game takes her away. That's the type of performance that the game would be like, yep, you don't deserve a second chance with this horse. We're going to snatch him away from you. You know, like, it's like, give me a chance to figure things out with my horse. I can only assume so much based off of the parents. We've all gotten horses that sometimes don't end up having a lot of parameters that are exactly like the parents. The leg type may be different. The distance may be different. Whatever. You know what I mean? So it's like, I, I can't just assume... All of a sudden, I really should have obviously probably settled her in just to at least keep her stamina at, at a good base. But yeah, sometimes I feel like if a horse gets a good good enough start like that, really, really well, I figure, okay, maybe they're a front runner. It's something I've noticed, but that's not always the case. Either way, this race is on me. Bad, bad, bad. And again, I wouldn't be surprised if I see Miss Vaporwave is gone. That would just suck. Because again, there's no moderation to how the game decides that. You know, it just, it just seems to do it, you know, just in times where it's like, okay, they're not giving you a chance to get to know the horse. 
And then when you've dominated with the horse and you have one little oopsies, then they take it away. You know, it's just like, it's always just the most, like, this would not actually happen. I would hope not. They'd be an awfully terrible human being to actually, to, 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 to you know, to do something like that. Got some sort of spurt here with Sedate Dancer. I don't know if I timed it right or not. Uh, Field's catching us. She's still running nicely. Field's catching us. She's supposed to finish top three. Will she have enough to hold on? We're going to get caught. I feel like she's going to fall further than top three. Yep. <sighs> well, that's a stinker of back-to-back um, -back bad races. Yeah. Can't really say. Uh, what what's, what's happened there? And I'm up with Little Vixen. Now I feel like the pressure's on because I've dropped two races. She's supposed to finish seventh. She's from Pink Gemstone. She'll be fine enough to handle this type of race and Diamond Plan. I think she's more than built for it. So, um... I'm going to hold... I feel like I've been letting horses go a little bit too soon, right? Sometimes starting too late, but, like, late at the wrong time. I think with this girl, I'm going to assume she's a... I hate to assume, because again, I don't freaking know. But it's like, I have to guess she'll probably be a proceeder. Probably. I don't know. This game doesn't always make sense. I'm pretty sure Diamond Plan and Pink Gemstone both are proceeders. Usually if that's the case, I think there's a higher probability your horse comes out with that type of leg type if both parents exactly match it. But again, it's not a guarantee. It doesn't always happen. Okay, a little bit of a wild start. I'm just going to settle in right here. Let's, let's not go any faster than what we're doing here. Because I know what they like to do. They like to act like they're going fast and then just like slow their horses down tremendously. I'm not falling for it. I, do, I don't think she's mid, but this is a, a, a race on the stretch. Can't really, you know, nobody's doing much. So let's keep her here. Now she's starting to move up on her own. That That's fine. That, that kind of gives us a little bit of the momentum we need. Okay, now I'm going to go. Oh, you, you, you're worried about the one horse on the inside. No. Are you telling me I would have had to get that going sooner? Oh, man. That stinks, bro. Stretch burst. Okay, so she, she bounces back to finish. She bounces back to finish fourth, I think. Okay. What a weird race, right? She loses the head-to-head -head on the inside, which I wasn't really expecting that to happen. And she, she does li literally get demotivated. And then she realizes we're still in the race, so we're still sh she's doing better, but then she's still not motivated enough. And then we get passed by a couple of horses, and then she gets motivated again, and she, she wants to, you know, get going. P C position. I'm a, I like I like I said. I had her probably mid. That's what the game will count. I'm sure she's proceeder. I, I I have a better feeling about her being a proceeder. But interesting. So the heart rating clearly is not that good. And I guess that makes sense. Awesome Autumn did not have good heart. That was the thing about that horse. I wasn't a huge fan of, but I knew her stats would make it worthwhile for her for breeding. But the heart rating is not good. Wow, they didn't take Miss Vapor away from me. I'm actually shocked. I am I have, like, PTSD from it now. Those are literally the type of performances that the game just instantly... That, snatches them away. In-game trauma, yes. I am... You guys hear me talk about it still. I'm still worried. Any day, if I don't do well on my horses, especially the girls, the game is just going to snatch them away because that's what it's done. That's what it's done most of this playthrough. Not as much recently because well, I haven't been doing awful, but it's like sometimes it's just one bad performance. 76 speed, okay. 60 feel. Proceeder. What'd I say? She is legitimately a proceeder because both of her parents have that exact same leg type. That's the only time where it's like I can kind of assume, but again, I just hate saying that because it's never 100%. I'm going to put her in an open just to see how she can really win without the competition for a bit. Just to get some more stats developed. Solo rider, dude. Ah, we should have won that race. That should still be undefeated. I've won. I've literally done that race before with you. Against, those, against that exact field. I wanted to see if he was capable of winning. 
Because I haven't had an undefeated horse like this in a while and just couldn't get it done. Uh, we're going to do that race for today, Dancer. Like, I... Strong heart, but her heart rating, I, I don't know what it is. I know her stamina is 47, and it just, yeah... It's just like, how long do I have to hold her? I guess it's, I, I just really have to find the, the the spot for it, and that's not ideally fun. It's not my idea of fun. But, um... It's fine. Oh, it's fine. So we're good with everybody, right? I want to make sure I'm not missing races, because, again, this game takes your horses away if you forget that you have one that hasn't raced out of, like, 20. Like... <laughs> I love Gallop Racer. I just. I guess I'm just making conversation. Anywho, let's get back on track and let's try to figure out. You know, the, just get ourselves back in a good winning position. Vivid Eye, she's up. She's the favorite in this race. And um, see if we can go two for two from Vivid Legend on a Moon Trapper. Or one for one for two. Whatever. Let's see if we can get her well-deserved win. Start building on that. General reason with the record here. Must have been when I was racing with him. I would think. He set a couple of records. And really weird races. <coughs> I think it was just because I got a revolution on him. It wasn't even like he was that fast. I think he's speed. I don't even know if his speed ever hit 80. So anyways. <clears throat> Is there not a front runner in this field? Of course not. Oh, dry flower. Cool. Get over them, bro. What are you doing? Like, look at you just taking your sweet old time to get to the front. To barely not even get... To actually not get to the front. Now, you're going to have to get out of my way here sooner or later. Because I don't want to be blocked. And you're not moving, so now I, ha I, I have to move. No, Rebo, I don't think we'll need it. I think Vivid Eyes is going to pull away. Again, she's from Vivid Legend on a Moon Trapper. I'm just saying... I know the studs are really strong, but I think Moon Trapper could have a little bit more to do with it as well. She wins the plenty in the tank. Easy win. Good. That's what you want to see from your horses on debut in open competition, especially if they come from a good, a good breeding pair. You'd ideally like to see that as the result. She wins by five lights overnight secret. Good stuff for our girl, Vivid Eyes. Very good. Joker's card up in the Super Mile Cup. Second favorite behind Naked Serious. Yeah. I think we can beat that horse. Winner plays. Okay. 84 speed, 70 stam. I, he's a horse I cannot afford to be not thinking about in the stretch. He's got last corner leader. I got to get him going early. He's got the stamina, he's got the power to handle it, and the staying. He, he'll be fine. Get this dude going early. Easy win for him. Should be. Yeah, should be an easy win. Tender value with the record here. So let's get this done. Perfect start. That's a good start. Yeah, I, I needed to find another word, but I just feel like I didn't have enough time in the moment to say it, so I just ended up saying start twice. So, there you go. Yeah. Good start t to have the good start, you know, right? Wise words from HRG in 2023. Don't forget them. Lol. So whoever that is is way out in front, and that's uh, Shuggy Yugi having a nice little trip. Make it serious is right out there next to us, so it's crucial that I actually get going before that horse because if I don't, that horse is probably going to beat us. Because that's just how Galbracer seems to work. If you don't actually get ahead of the favorite, you don't usually have a chance of beating the favorite. It seems unless your horse is just that much of a speed demon. 
So again, because I have more stamina here with this guy, I'm going to get him rolling now. And I'm going to put him in drive. And now we're going to get on the whip and see if he can carry for two furlongs. It's a long way to go. For a long and a half, still clear. Naked Sirius is reeling, but we still have a comfortable buffer. Joker's card looking good. Furlong, Naked Sirius is still reeling. Not much else I can do. Naked Sirius closing, closing. That horse is just going to get us in the end. Wow. Uh, imagine even getting that much of a head start. It's still not enough to <laughs> to thwart a, clo uh, a closing Naked Sirius. Double S on the spurt. Like, uh, come on, bro. Come on. <sighs> it's a great effort from Joker's card. I mean, that's going to get him points, but gosh, like, come on, man. Could have won that race. Cleopatra, she's up in the Chicago Stakes, second favorite. And uh, Fairy Dancer's here, so this isn't a race we can necessarily sleep on. Um, what are his stats now? Okay, he's definitely much, much faster than us. Or she, excuse me. Duh, it's Phillies only. I am completely out of it. I apologize. No, Fairy Dancer is still very, very fast, so... Um... Yeah. We should be able to win. We should. Still think Cleopatra is good enough. Just gonna make sure I, I get her in good space for sure. Cannot be falling asleep. Can't be not. You know. Can't can't just stop paying attention. <sighs> All right. Here we go. Great start. Now slow it down. 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 Yep. Such a shame. She gets out so well, and then I always have to bring her back. Like, if she could at least run as her proceeder, I think that'd be fantastic. They wouldn't waste such a good start every time. I feel like we, for the most part, always get good starts with her. Then it's just like, gotta instantly stop that momentum. But maybe it works out for her explosiveness. Now, to be honest, I don't really know where I want to be. I don't want to take the outside on this track, but I also don't want to be stuck on the inside. Now, I know we're way off, but it's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll get caught up soon. Now, she's got... She's still got the power to handle it. Uh, I think we'll have to take... Wait, is the inside open? That's the thing. I don't want to... I don't... No, the inside's not even open, bro. I just... I don't want to do that. I don't want to take the inside if it's not actually open. I just feel like that's an awful idea. Yeah, I'm just going to have to make an outside run here. Now she's Max Stam. I'm going to get her moving now because I know these horses are going to take just the widest of swings around this, this turn. Just gotta make sure we're in. See, here they go. Make sure she's just in a position to drive. Keep driving. Let's go. Now she's in a real horse race here. Let's see if she can win out on this head to head. Great roll off of turn four for Cleopatra. Oh, that was it. That was it. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's all it took, man. Talking about looking horses in the eyes and driving them off the off the corner, bro. <laughs> oh my gosh! <sighs> wow. Nine and a half for a long winner there for Cleopatra. Twelfth grade one win, if I'm not mistaken. Jeez Louise, bro. I don't know how that was gonna work. I didn't know if those other horses were gonna respond. And in all honesty, that was the best time to get her rolling, and absolutely drove. The hooves off that corner, quite literally, I think. 154 and 2 record. Seven length winner. Gosh. <laughs> she blazed that, man. Smokes Fairy Dancer. This girl is two years past her prime. <laughs> needed that one. Desperately needed that one, man. Gosh, just goes to show you. I just. I really. I, I need to be better about it. Like, I play this game casually, everybody knows that, but sometimes it's, it's to the point where I'm not even really paying attention, and then I'm just kind of doing goofy stuff. I do it in all of my games. 
Sometimes I'm just not focused at all. Like, if I want to do something like that, then I should play... I can't even say Minecraft, because, I mean, if you create a dangerous world on Minecraft, then, yeah, you can't afford to not be paying attention either. I mean, Creeper, anything could be in your face in two seconds. You know? It's, it's happened, right, to most of us that have played. I can't afford to be... Not, I, I just can't afford to just not pay attention at certain points. Like, when important stuff is going on. Like, when I'm not... When we're not racing, okay. When we're in the, you know, post-parade, okay. Not while we're actively racing do I decide I kind of want to drift off. You know what I mean? I know it. I just have to do better. So Joker's car, to get some to fourth place, and he is actually within, uh, yeah, six points of the leaders in the sprint. So he's there to, to possibly take that championship if I can buckle down with him. Solar Rider's clear by six in the turf, thankfully. And Burning Wind is still three points off the dirt. So we still have a chance for all the boys to win out. That's how it is. It seems like the girls dominate for the most part. And then the boys end up, you know, winning uh, the GWSs. Until the girls do, or the girls already have done. Which both of these girls have won GWSs. So neither of them are, G are GWS chasing anymore. Alright, Joker. Uh, we gotta get you back in the sprint, bud. So as soon as there's another opportunity... Paris Mile. Uh, actually, we'll, we'll save it to the London Mile. Yeah, I, I want to make sure you're in the blue. We need wins, so I'd rather he have a better chance to win than not. All right. Um, I think we're good. Do a quick save. Then I'll probably do a couple more. Vivid Eyes, you are, are you two for two? Oh, you're one for two, that's what I thought. I should have won that first race. No worries. Uh, run your eight furlongs. I want to make sure you can handle the mile strong early. Because her, I mean, her preference is nine furlongs. Obviously, if she can run nine, I'm, st I'm still going to try to run her at a mile. Most horses that can run strong at nine, they can still run a mile and be competitive. 22 temper. So, yeah, she's not the most mild-mannered of the bunch. 33 field. It's going to be tricky, but to be honest, I don't feel bad with her. That win was pretty easy. I, I think she will kind of be a little tricky here and there, but I don't expect her to give me such resistance that I'm not going to work with her. I, I think she'll be tame enough. What's her growth type? Is the chart showing? It's already at the top. Oh, they're all going to peak so quickly, though. Yeah, see, I, I gosh, really got to think about that for the future. It's great to have horses like that right off the bat. Don't get me wrong. And then, of course, if they're strong enough, they can stay good beyond their peak. But you still like a little bit more development, right? A little bit more time. Because sometimes some horses do just fall off of a cliff once they hit their peak. And there's nothing you can do about it. You know? I just don't always want that with my horses. But we're getting the better horses. It's going to help us. We can always breed for sustain. It's not like a camp. Just most of our studs back there aren't sustained studs. Like, I feel like in 2003, most of our studs have long growth types. That's why it's like we we have so much time to develop with our horses over there. And we don't even have to worry about losing them. This game, most of our studs are fast or normal. And I have to worry about the game taking them away if I don't get dialed in with them early when they're at their best. That's also a time of when it seems you lose your horses the most, when they're in their peak. Because the game is like, well, the horse is its best and you can't win. Snatch them away. Right? I get it. Anyways, uh, we'll keep rolling on.